everyone. Welcome to the Eat Yourself Slender Kitchen. I'm Barbara Hoffman and my goal is for you to lose weight while you are eating and enjoying food. And the way we do it is we keep our insulin levels steady. Insulin makes us fat, but if we know the tricks, you can eat and never get fat. I guarantee it. Now, what am I going to make today? Well, I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to tell you a recipe that you can use for a snack, for lunch, or even breakfast, which is what I do. What is it? Well, it's meatballs, turkey meatballs. In Italy, they call them palpettas. This is an easy recipe, one bowl, easy prep, no frying and spattering on the top of the stove with grease and oil. We make the meatballs, we pop them in the oven, we pop them out. They're succulent and crisp, and they can be your new best friend and your weight loss secret. So let's get started. I'm going to add the ingredients, and you'll see how easy this is. First of all, we take one pound of ground turkey and just slip it right into our bowl. Now I'm going to add one onion, finely diced. After the onion, we add garlic, three to five cloves. I know, I know, you might have family members that don't like garlic, but you have to tell them. It's anti-cancer and it's antioxidant and it keeps us healthy. So put that garlic right in there. Now, one half cup of parsley, finely chopped if you want or really uh, minced up, but I like a little floof of parsley because I love the look of it, so that's how I do it, kind of a medium size. Three quarters cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Now don't worry about this. I know you know that I tell you don't eat bread, but this is just going to bind the meat and it will not spark your insulin levels. Next, Parmesan cheese. Cheese is our friend. Cheese is a wonderful commodity for us. It does not spike insulin levels. It contains fat and protein and you just don't need to eat a lot of it, but you don't have to be afraid of it. Please use cheese. Okay, the key ingredient, now you're going to smile because this is very interesting, is one tablespoon of olive oil. I don't know if you can see, but I buy a really green olive oil that I just love. This is going to make it possible for us not to have to fry these meatballs. We can just bake them in the oven because the olive oil is going to make them crisp. Next is a half cup of milk. Just throw that in there. Don't be afraid of dairy. If you don't want regular milk, use whatever milk you like. Now, two eggs, and I'm not even beating them. These are just two simple eggs sitting there. Throw them in. We'll beat when the time comes. And I like a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And I love sea salt. Sea salt is our friend. It contains all those wonderful minerals. So I'm doing a teaspoon of sea salt. Now friends, I know you all have your favorite meatball recipes. And the reason I'm giving you this one is because one of these generous turkey meatballs has less than 150 calories, 16 grams of protein, and you know I'm the protein queen, less than three grams of carbs, and no sugar. So you can take your favorite meatball recipe, whatever I left out that you throw in, as long as it's not sugar or more carbohydrates, you can put it in. I like a nice Italian spice. This one is called pasta sprinkle, and it's got all little um, Italian herbs in it, and I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that. So whatever your recipe is that you like, throw your spice in there also. Don't make it too spicy though, because if you make it too spicy, you won't want it for breakfast. And this is one of my breakfast tips. Now you just mix. And look how easy ground turkey mixes up. I mean, if you make beef meatballs, it's very difficult, the mixing process. But this, I have a nice big fork. I'm just mixing everything up. Protein is key, people. You want to jumpstart your metabolism. And when you add all this protein, 16 grams in one meatball, it's like throwing a log on the fire of your metabolism. It burns slow and steady. If you throw carbs on, you get a flash and then you get a crash. Well, flash and crash is not us. So we are slow and steady. Insulin is a bully, but he's not going to bully us because we're too smart. So here we go. It's all mixed up. 
nicely mixed, and now you can let it set for a half hour. Because while you let it set, the oil will permeate the mix, and that makes the meatballs succulent and crispy. Now we're going to scoop these into a pan. Now, do not be intimidated by your pans. People are so worried that someone else will see them with a pan that's not perfect. Imperfections are fine. I was at a friend's house one day and she was scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing this pan. I said, what are you doing? She said, oh, I have to get it perfectly clean without the brown spots. Our pans don't care what we look like, so we don't need to care what our pans look like. Now I'm going to show you my little secret for making the meatballs. Now, in your own kitchen, you don't need to wear gloves. I'm going to wear these little gloves. But I believe what happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. If you just want to use your hands to shape your meatballs, nobody's going to know or care. What I do is I take a nice uh, ice cream scoop. This is just your standard ice cream scoop. Now make your meatball a nice size. And then, just while it's sitting right there on the uh, scoop, make it into a ball. Now, you're going to be generous with these because you're going to get 12 beautiful sized meatballs out of this mix. And these freeze really well. Now let me tell you something, when you go to an Italian restaurant, you go, oh, I love Italian food, how can I ever go in an Italian restaurant? You go in and you get a nice double order of meatballs. And then you get a salad and maybe a side order of vegetables. A glass of wine is optional. And you will come out feeling great and not gaining weight. So that's my little tip for dining out in Italian restaurants. Now I'll be right back with all of these meatballs nicely formed. We have now 12 imperfectly shaped meatballs because I don't worry about shape. Irregular meatballs have character and I don't mind looking down and seeing little bits of parsley or onion or garlic sticking up because that's what makes it um, delectable to our senses to see these wonderful ingredients from the garden in our meatballs. I'll be back. We're going to bake these at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Now, if they're on the large size, if you want to make less and make them larger, bake them for 35 to 40 minutes. So for that short prep and 30 minutes of cooking time, we got 12 wonderful meatballs. Now, you can put them on a platter and serve them to your family. You could put them in Ziploc bags so that you can take them to, the, to work with you. What I like to do is I like them for breakfast, I told you, and I'll just put a little marinara sauce on there. Look how lovely is that. And by the way, this isn't even my homemade marinara sauce. And then what you can do is put some cheese and pepper. And if you have any of these things laying around the house, you know, that, that you have collected over the years from, your, uh, from eating pizza, you can take those and just pop this all off to work. Also, I will tell you, a lot of stores have started making turkey meatballs, for uh, offering them for sale. And I think shortcuts are fine. Just be careful of the salt because if they're too salty you don't get the taste of the nice cheese and other of the garlic and whatever else should be in there and I think sometimes they add salt because they don't have other great ingredients in there but if you can find one that's kind of low sodium go for it. Now I've got the recipe for any of you that want to write for it. It's in the book Eat Yourself Slender and I want to thank you for joining me. Please come back again to the Eat Yourself Slender Kitchen. Now, go have a meatball.